All right, so I gotta tell you, it's been kind of a stressful day. Uh, I can just say remodeling your house while you're living in it is not a good idea. All right, so it was nice on a day like today to get this beautiful package. And how great is this decorated? Uh, you know I'm gonna have to save this. I don't know, how, I have no idea what this is. It's something from my dear friend Lisa Swank. And it's wholly and completely unexpected. I don't know what's in it, but we're going to open it here on camera. So let's find out. And my whole room is like a disaster. Just, you know. Okay. So let's see if we can get this open. Without causing hopefully too much damage. Wow, it is full and I see some goodness poking out. I'm gonna pull everything out. Okay, I just love that and it is, I'm, I want to cover up Lisa's address but I'll show you it's painted on both sides. So cool. All right. I don't know what all this stuff is. This is, goodness, is there a note in here somewhere? Well, there's an envelope, let's see. It says rack on it, and I love this. So this here, I love that. I will say I'm prejudiced. That's one of my stencils. You can buy it on my Etsy store, the link's below. And she's got the other, stent. one of my other stencils. <laughs> That's great, Lisa, I love that. All right, let's see what this is. Maybe there's a note in here. There's a bunch of really cool things here. I lost my scissors, hold on. Let's see. Oh, that's so nice. So I challenged the design team members to send out some random acts of kindness, and she sent me some of what she sent everybody else. Isn't that nice? Um, in this, at least the envelope part here. And I love what she did. Look at these fabulous painted and stamped papers. Can you guys see the gold one, gold images on there? There you go, right there. Those are some of my rubber stamps. Here's another one. Let's see, there you go. These are great. One more. There we go. Love them. There's some other stuff down here. Let's see. This is just what's in the envelope. There's a bunch of other stuff. Look at the animals, aren't they cute? And I love that, Lisa, that you did them on the thin paper. I love to use that for collaging. I also love this little tag that you made, though. That is cute. And, oh, some shrinky dink. Oh, so cool. So she made a tag, which I love. And, oop. Here's, and then it looks like she sent me some shrinky dinks, and they're not shrunk yet, so I can shrink them. And she sent me the directions, yay! And then there's an envelope with, ooh, some finished charms. Uh, these are all done and shrunk already. Here's a paper clip, that is super cute. I have a particular notebook that's actually right here that I think he has to go on. Ooh, I almost lost that one. It's one of my little images, it's a little bunny. And then here is my hand, that's cute, how she put Boo on there and turned him into a ghost. That's cute. And then here is one of my tag images with some stamps on it and she shrunk it. That's super cute, Lisa, I love those. Okay, and then she sent me a bunch of other stuff though too. This is 
for knitting, crocheting, and hand weaving. Ruban de Art. Rayon taffeta. Acetate. Cut fuse edge. Some kind of ribbon. It's like a hundred yards of like navy ribbon. In the vintage box. So cool. And there is this thing. It looks like a wheel. I'm not sure what it is. Okay, it looks like this. Now, the rest of you would be, oh my god, somebody sent her garbage. But Lisa knows me very well because, oh my god, look at the bottom of that and how cool of a stamp pattern or jelly plate print is that going to make? Right? Love that, Lisa. Thank you. <laughs> there is two of these. I don't know what are these. Oh, they're wine bags. And they, they have the Target, um, you know, bullseye on them. So I'm going to guess that's where they're from. And I, of course, probably won't use them as a wine bag, but it's made out of really cool burlap that has red and natural colored burlap. Plus these bamboo handles are kind of cool. She sent me two of those. I think those are going to have to go up in the salvage bin because those are, those are neat. Um, and then there's two bags of sewing notions. Vintage, some vintage notions. Look at these buttons. Those are cool. Oh, covered, fabric covered button kit. How many of us who sew remember those? Remember trying to get the buttons to the uh, fabric to cover them perfectly and being frustrated. <laughs> Here's another one. It'd be cool to use these though to make um, some fabric co covered buttons to like close journals or something. Some empty, empty wooden spools. Always good to have. Ooh, these are cool. So some vintage fancy plastic pink beads. Some vintage sequin. And I know these are truly vintage, not because of the age of the label, because of the price. Hello. You guys see that? How much that cost? That was the sale price. 31 cents. <laughs> that cracks me up. And Sprouse Reets. Yeah, we used to have one of those, fun fact, um, walking distance from my house when we first bought the house. We still had one of those stores, and then it closed shortly after we bought our house. I used to like to shop there. Some um, snaps and hook and eye on the vintage card still, which is very cool. Let's put all this back in here. And then there's one more bag. Lisa, you sent me so much. I love it, but wow. Oh, this is so cool. Red Rick Rack. And then some really fun um, seam binding. But look at this beautiful vintage burgundy color. I love, I love the color. Um, some bi white bias tape. White Rick Rack. A littler Rick Rack than the other one. So, uh... Um, some seam binding lace, like hem lace. I, we, we always use this when I was sewing to do the hems on the insides of skirts and things. Oh, well, that's pretty funny. Some vintage pattern pages out of a book. I wonder if this is out of... I don't know what magazine this is out of. Vintage. It looks like vintage sewing pattern pages out of some sort of probably crafts it says Roberts Bel Air Variety Napa California but they're like vintage ads like 1970s very cool those are cool some vintage coasters how much do you love the little poodle like seriously and then here are some vintage napkins look at that that's so cute uh, blue chip, oh my god, blue chip stamps. I remember blue chip stamps. And these are full books, wow. Blue, full books of blue chip stamps. <laughs> There's three of them. Three of these little books. And then there's three of these big books. And they're also, they're not full, but they have, they have lots of blue chip stamps in them. 
I remember saving these up with my mom to try to get us a sewing machine for the family. Wow. Very cool, Lisa. I love all the stuff. Thank you so much. I love it when I get surprise packages in the mail. It's fabulous. And I love sharing as much as giving, getting. And I do have a couple of small racks on my desk that I need to send out. I've just been waiting for some more bits and pieces um, to make and or get to put in them. So, but they will be going out shortly. You know, my life is a little chaotic you know, with the contractors in and out of my house. And I've filmed a few things um, since work started. Um, at least one of them is going to have to have a voiceover. Uh, and I'm going to have to film a couple other things to go with it. So bear with me. I will be back soon for live broadcasts and all of that other stuff. I hope you're all having a great day um, and a great experience with your art. Um, don't be afraid if you're part of my Facebook groups to, uh, and you feel so inclined to go to the random act of kindness list or happy mail list that's in all of the Facebook groups I'm associated with. Go to the list, pick a name, maybe somebody you don't know, and send them a little piece of kindness. It doesn't have to be a big envelope. It could be something as small as a little card like this with some fun tags and bits and pieces in it. Um, just, you know, send them something that will make them smile. Believe me, it's well worth it. Um, if you aren't a member of my Facebook groups but you'd like to be, all the links are in the description below, so go check them out. There are questions we request that you answer if you do request to join that we would appreciate you answering, and it makes you getting into the group a little easier, so I do advise you to answer the questions. Uh, if you want to shop and my... Um, Etsy store to support my channel. Maybe you want a set of my rubber stamps or one of my stencils. They're all over at Etsy, so go check it out. The link for that's in there in the description below too. My happy mail address, my email address, all that stuff's in the description. So check it out. I'm going to link uh, Lisa's YouTube channel. Check her out. She's a sweetheart. Love her dearly. She does a lot of admin work for me on all the groups, and she's a fabulous member of the design team, so we do very much appreciate her. Uh, that's it for right now. I love you all very much. Thanks for bearing with me, and um, like I said, hopefully we'll be back soon with a live broadcast, which means they're done with my bathroom. <laughs> I can't wait. All right, that's it, everybody. Don't forget the most important thing. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself, because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.